So you've learned about how your shoulder blade moves. You have the awareness down. You've progressed from some post rehab, integrated some prevention exercises. Now we're going to complete it with some more preventative exercises and moving into some more dynamic movement exercises to get you as functional and as strong as you can. So we're going to start with the lat pull-ups. If you don't have this accessory here, you can just add your weight accessory at home. You start with your chest at the top edge of the glide board, reach for the attachment, and then you can pull up and down. Now here's what you're thinking about. I'm at a lower incline level, but you're really thinking about the shoulders dropping away from the ears, avoiding the elbows dropping down or hiking them up. You're getting that smooth glide of the shoulder blade. Once you have that, feel free to start increasing your incline level. Avoid this kind of action to get yourself up. So, you might not think about pulleys for pull-ups, but they add a whole other twist to the movement. They add a little bit more stabilization requirements and a little bit more control. So attach your arm pulley, anchor down. You're going to lower yourself at the top edge of the glide board like you've done with the pull-ups. And then your arms are going to be in a position where you want to start with lengthened arms. So you might need to scoot down or scoot up. It's dependent upon your body length. Then from here, slide those shoulder blades down your back and pull yourself up and back down. Commonly I see with these is people pull down, so your hands are ending below the rails. You want your hands to end right at your shoulders and then slowly come back up. You can do one arm, you can do static equilibrium, and then transition back into both arms. So try that at home if you haven't done it. You're going to anchor down and we're going to transition into pullovers. So from here, you straddle, make sure your cables are separated, roll on back, and then you go right into pullovers. Now, what I like to do is add a little twist. So I'll come from here, I'll pull down, and then I'll just work one arm. Feel how that stabilization feels. Now take the other arm, bring it up to the sky. Hold that there, make that arm stabilized and then just move the right arm. You're going to make this exercise a lot more challenging. And you can also add a little bit more of a compound movement of lifting the hips up and down. So you move from pullovers, and then you slide yourself up, turn yourself around, and we're going to go into a Cuban press or external rotation. So I'm going to start with my arms out. I'm going to make sure my shoulders are dropping away from the ears. And I'm going to use my feet first to assist. My elbows come back, just like I'm doing a high elbow row. And then I pull my forearms back. So the motion is just coming up like so. Like you're forming an L and then going back down. You are warming up the shoulders. And this is pretty intense. So you want to keep it up like the lower one third. Or at least have your feet to support in the beginning. For the next movement, where we're going to scoot on down, and we're going to take this more to an inverted position. And now I'm going to bring my arm up, and I can do the same exact Cuban press, but inverted. Now note that I'm just doing one arm at a time for now. If I wanted to come up and do it with both arms, I could, but you might run out of cable length. It depends, again, upon your arm length. Now you can also add two movements in where you come up and externally rotate, come back down, come back in, again, high elbow row, up, and then if you really wanted to get more compound, you can come up, externally rotate, overhead, come back in, come down, and all the way down. And then you're gonna roll on up. Now, talking about overhead, if you wanted to prep the body for some overhead movement and you're gonna go to that move, remember, you have the cables behind, you can do that same movement sitting if you wanted to prep those shoulders for overhead press. And lastly, with this series, you're going to move from the exercise that you learned, and I'm going to let go of the back cable, from that short lever that we talked about where you're coming across your body, abduction, and then if you do a tricep extension, and then you can combine the two where you come up, out, in and back. Or you can come straight out, in, back, and around. So you start to add in some triceps, some isolated movement with some compound movements. So building on that thought, I'm going to disengage the cable and I'm going to end with some climbing. So you can leave your squat stand on. If you do that, you'll just straddle and go wide with the legs.
for more stabilization, that will be easier. To make this exercise more challenging, lower the incline. To make it easier, raise that incline. You're going to start first here, just planking. You can shift your weight forward and back. Move from your ankle, side to side. You can rotate, warming up the shoulders. You can open up the board and practice those same movement patterns. Getting into that planking. You can have your hands like they are flat on the board, or you can even grip the board sides, and then you can move into some shoulder flexion extension. You can let yourself come down and then pull back, or you can keep yourself pretty much in a high plank position. And then lastly, you can transition right onto your side. Your knees can be stacked. You can be on your forearm. You can go to a side plank. And then to make the exercise more challenging, I'm going to open up the board, scissor my legs, or you can snap them. I can hold the board steady with one hand as I side plank, and then eventually I can also lift up. So that's a little bit of progression. So you have some prevention into dynamic movement, and you're off and running.